So today we got the Champ XL synthetic oil filter and let's see what it says here made by Champion Laboratories Albany Illinois hmm. not too bad made in the USA uh, to see how good this thing is doesn't give me anything here on how long you can use it or this says it's a quality filter synthetic oil filter What's it say on here? Uh, let's see here. Uh, just quality filter, synthetic oil filter. Uh, that's about it. And, hmm, well, it's made by Champion, I guess. So, we'll have to cut into her. That's my good old uh, oil filter cutter here. Oh, so nice to have this now. It really is. I moved the uh, the pins a little closer so it was easier to cut with. Uh, let's see how long this one will take to get through. See if it's a thick case or not a thick case. Well, it just tires my arm out doing this, but you know. Let's see how good she does on this pass. It doesn't seem that thick, though. It seems to be pretty thin, so it's starting to already cut through, it looks like. Yeah, oh, she's pretty thin. You can hear her. I'm going to go this way. Uh, shaking the table too much, doing it that way. Uh, yeah, she, she's a thin oil filter. So, hmm. There, she's just about through. There we go. She's through. Okay, let's back her out. Works pretty good. This is the best, best thing I think I've ever bought for doing stuff. Probably not, but I like it. And, uh, hmm, well, I can tell it's got a rubber. Uh, okay, let's flip her over. Let's see how this seal comes out. See, this silk feels, it doesn't feel like rubber. It feels like a silicone seal. So, it doesn't feel like, it feels like a black silicone seal. It doesn't feel like rubber. It might look like rubber, but it doesn't feel like rubber. Flip this off. Now, this plate is actually pretty darn thin. That is one of the thinner plates I've seen. Uh, three threads, three threads for holding it on. Nice big holes though. I do like that. I like the big holes. But yeah, three threads and uh, pretty, pretty light. Not great. Yeah. Silicone. It, uh, it'll do its silicone thing, which is nice. But it does fit on there quite nice though. So it would, it yeah. Some oil filters I've seen have gotten pulled in and stuck in the middle. This one doesn't look like it would. It has a nice ridge on it to hold it in place. So, let us pull out the filtration. The filtration doesn't look that bad. Yes, but I did see. I thought this had... For some reason, I thought this had a bypass valve. The spring is nice, actually. This spring fits in there like that. And he, yeah, that's better than some of the other stamp steel springs. So I'm going to let that pass. But, okay, this, this feels not as paperishly as some of the other ones. This does feel like a synthetic blend that will do some filtration. I hope so. These were not that expensive from, uh, let's see, Rock Auto. So these, I think they're only maybe six bucks from Rock Auto. Might be wrong. I don't think they were over six bucks. Let me cut off the filtration and get a better look at it. All right, another thing I got to point out, it was held together. It's glued together, the filtration. Sometimes it isn't a, isn't a big deal if they use good glue on the inside. Seems like they do use good glue on these, on the inside. So that's actually nice. So 
So let me peel this up. Oh, I'm going to tell you right now, I like this filtration. Even though it is of synthetic cardboard construction, it is thick and it does not feel cardboardy at all. It definitely feels synthetic. So this, this filtration makes me happy. Now, yeah, there's the inside tube. Standard, kind of like, yeah, oil gets through there. Still don't like the fact that it has no uh, bypass valve, but uh, that's crazy. The filtration is, is top notch, it looks. So let's pull apart this. Oh, yeah, she's glued together. That, that would have held just fine. Now the filtration, oh yes, she is thick. That is a good synthetic filtration. This, this is impressive from a cheaper filter. So I like that. It's, it's nice and thick. It's a very thick kind of synthetic blend filtration. It's harder to pull apart. Yeah, this, this would be a higher price filter for sure, but it's not. It's, it's not a high price filter. I like it. Uh, yeah, I, I would definitely use these. In fact, I will. I got a couple of these for my G6 and the wife's, uh, let's see, her Elantra GT. So we'll be using these and that. And I don't think we'll have any worries using these filters. The only thing I don't like is, well, I, it doesn't matter. This is thick enough. Some of them are very heavy. But, oh, yeah, I did not check to see. This a canister, is, it, it's thin. But if you do regular oil changes, you should have no problem. I probably, I don't know, it's not even razor sharp from cutting it. Nice. But yeah, she's thin. Uh, yeah, no bypass valve, but like I said, if you do your regular oil changes, you'll have no problems. And let's see, anything else here? This was a pretty good stamp steel spring, so that that's not that bad. So everything was held together pretty good in the filter. The only thing is no bypass valve for really good filtration, I would say. And the canister is a little thinner than normal. But, but uh, you know, it's uh, all relative. You get some good things and some bad things with each filter. And this filter definitely would get a pass from me. And, uh, yeah, I'll be using this in my uh, G6. And uh, I would use this in other vehicles I have. All right. Well, thanks for watching.